It was the perfect life according to culture and society. And as I woke up one day and I realized I was more miserable than I had ever been in my entire life. And I wondered why, because all of these things were supposed to make me happy, but they didn't. I had my own design firm. I was working 16, 18 hour days every single day, and I was determined to be the best, trying to prove that through my work that I was you know, a worthy human being. I actually fell into a really deep depression at that point because I thought, there are no answers. What am I supposed to do with my life? Then I thought, okay, well, what life do I want? What do I truly value? As a way to discover things that made me happy, I got back in touch with food. I started baking. As I was baking more, I became more interested in life, interested in being out there and making decisions to make myself really happy. I shut down my design firm, went to Paris, studied pastry, came back, opened Boku Bakery. I did it because I was passionate about trying to inspire other people with food the same way that food saved my life. I decided to sell Boku, and people thought this was the craziest decision ever. Obviously, there was fear, but I had accomplished every single thing that I set out to accomplish with that project. In order to include or invite new things into your life, you need to be willing to let go. I've been travel food writing and writing about lifestyle. And then I started writing the book, The Measure of My Powers. It's a memoir, really pivotal moments in my life, you know, the dark moments and the beautiful moments. I didn't know if I was ready to be that vulnerable, but if I want to do something and I'm scared, I just go and look at, at it in the face and then I run straight through it. I've learned the power of choice is something people are often afraid of because it means we're responsible for our own lives. But it's also the most freeing thing because then you start to realize where you can choose happy.